I'm Mark Bustos, and today I'm going to go over long hair styling tricks and tips on men's hair. So today we're going to go over uh, how Michael can style his hair himself at home. This is dried naturally out of the shower and with minimal product in it right now. You know, you're going to notice that sometimes it's going to fall into that triangular bell shape and there's not too much going on up here which is really where we want to build a little bit more volume in through there. We're going to apply a little bit of a camellia oil to his ends. When applying this oil you really only want to use about a drop of it. You don't want to run your fingers through it too much. You really just want to scrunch it in there and this will help protect the hair throughout the day and, and keep it nourished and moisturized throughout the entire day. Next thing we're going to do is apply a little bit of product in through the root of his hair at the top of his head. My favorite product is this uh, dry texture spray by Orbe. So you want to just run your fingers right at the scalp and pull out and lift, your, lift the hair right up. You're going to spray really right at the root of the hair. You don't want to hold it too close. You want to hold it about maybe about a foot away. You could already see some of that body building in through the root at the top of his head and it's made his hair much more balanced all around. So another look we can do on Michael's hair is to pull it back. Depending on the day of the week and the outfit that he's wearing, he may want to pull it back away from his face. My personal preference is to just comb it with your fingers and not with an actual comb. You don't want it to look too done. Depending on how long the hair actually is will determine how high or how low. I think it's a pretty cool look when you wear it up and some of it kind of falls out. It gives it more of that natural weekend look. But if you really want to get it all in there, then we can probably drop his ponytail down to right about the occipital bone back here. I'd probably put it around this uh, hair tie maybe two or three times. And kind of just pull it halfway through, so it's a little messier. Some of this hair will fall out a little bit. A wax or a gel or a little bit of hairspray even can really hold that into place. And some of this hair back here will also fall out, but when this falls out, it gives it a pretty cool look too. So let's drop this a little lower, see how it works. The hair in the back now reaches, but now the hair on the sides doesn't. So depending on where you wear the bun will determine what hairs will fall out. And as the hair grows, he's gonna be able to wear this bun at different heights in the back of his head. The last thing I wanna go over is the neck hair. Rather than having your hairstylist or barber make a nice, clean, sharp line, we wanna keep it a little bit more natural. I like using this feather razor and it's got these little notches in it. So it's not gonna give it like too much of a clean line. It'll give it a little bit more of a, a broken up textured line. And the key is to just keep it as natural as possible. You don't want it to look like you worked too hard. Kinda of looks like he didn't just get it done. It's much cleaner than it was, but at the same time, not perfectly cut into a sharp shape. 